Time for another one tank trip, and today, Deja Jones is going to Weston, Missouri, and the Silk Art Museum. Did you know there's a Silk Art Museum there? Now you do. Take a look. The National Silk Art Museum is a perfect combination of history and art. Over 500 different silk tapestries are on display, and we found out what makes them so fascinating. museum represents lost art. Every piece you see is a digitized and woven copy of an original oil painting dating back hundreds of years. Some of the pieces serve as the only remaining evidence that their original image ever existed. Of the oil paintings that they copied to weave these pieces, less than 5% of the original oil paintings are still in existence today. All of the silk art pieces have their own story. Declaration of Independence and the signing piece. So how many of these silk copies of the Declaration of Independence are there? I know there's two in this country and I have them both. Time period 1900, the Mona Lisa was in the Louvre drawing dust. They didn't bring her, break her out until after World War II as a marketing gimmick. The feature item at the Louvre at time period 1900 was the original oil painting of that piece. That's Japanese. Oh my gosh. Still with a blind stitch. First the woman would stitch away. Yeah. And then she'd go blind. And then she passed it on to the next generation, and they continued until they went blind, and usually took about three generations to finish a piece like that. The 1900 Paris World's Fair was also the second of the modern Olympics, and the first Olympics women could compete in, and you see she's holding the Olympic rings. Oh, we love that. Francisco Goya, when he started out, he was a starving artist. Uh -huh. and his wife got him a job at the Royal Tapestry Factory in Madrid, and he'd make sketches, and they called them tapestry cartoons, and that's where the word cartoon comes from. Really? And then if they approved his tapestry cartoon, he had to make a hand weaving. If they approved that, they made a full wall tapestry. This was hand woven by Goya himself in 1787. So how were these original oil paintings transferred onto silk? Well, it started with Louis XIV and his love for art. He wanted separation for the people, so then he decreed all oil paintings, the past and the future, had to have a binary code for the purpose of weaving. And here at the museum, you can see how the silk art pieces were made. That's your first laptop from 1728. Oh. The way it works, you lay the key punch cards in this bar, uh -huh. the bar drops down, engages these horizontal needles or heddles. Uh -huh. If there's no hole in the punch card, the paper pushes that needle. When it pushes that needle, it pushes that vertical stick off that horizontal bar. Patterns engaged. Foot pedal operates the levers in the side, would raise the center carriage, and the vertical sticks that remained on the bar would be forced to raise. Uh -huh. Lifting hooks are attached, shuttle runs in between for the pattern. There's so much to see and learn at the National Silk Art Museum, so you'll have to come and see for yourself. They're open Tuesday through Saturday at 11.30 a.m., and it's free. However, donations are welcome. For One Take Trips, Deja Jones, KSHB 41 News.